Hi, I'm Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. Today I um, am working on some postcards that they're kind of, they could, they're like this, okay. <laughs> they could either be put into a junk journal. Um, that's why I put this stamp on it, just like a rubber stamp. It's actually a clear acrylic lawn fawn stamp from this collection here. Um, but you could leave that off and put a real stamp and actually send it in the mail because it is the right dimensions. So normally I like to bulk up my work a little bit with 3D elements and things like that, but I wanted to make sure that this could actually go through the mail if I wanted to send it as a postcard. So I did some layering, but I tried to keep it really flat. So I thought that we would make one together and I'll just show you quickly how I did it. I took an eight and a half by 11 sheet of blue card stock and I cut it into four equal pieces. So pretty much you're gonna cut it five and a half, you know, the long ways you're gonna cut it in half, five and a half, and then four and a quarter, and you're gonna get four of them. So that makes four postcards. So then all I did was round the corners. That isn't necessary, of course, but I like the look of rounded corners, so. I rounded the corners. To add a little extra color, I took a very light pink ink. This is just barely visible. And I went ahead and I inked, just kind of choppily all the way around on both sides. Like so. Okay. So the front and the back are exactly the same now. And here's um, a few of the other images I have to make postcards with. These are from Calico Collage from some of their spring um, digital collections. And I'll have links below in the description box if you want to check out their work and get some for yourself. But I love the colors on this. And since we're coming into springtime, I did this one here with the nest and the eggs and the bird. And so I think to change it up, we'll do the butterfly. I just grabbed some washi from my stash that I thought rather coordinated and this time I'll do the picture. See I did the picture here on the right and I did my lettering on the left but this time I'm going to do it on the left and my lettering on the right just to show you it's so easy to change things up. Pretty much with, with blah, I can't talk. With my washi I just randomly pulled off different sizes and I layered them. That way it kind of made a background and it stuck out. They all kind of coordinate. And I thought they went well with these images. Pretty much just go all the way down. And I grabbed a couple of the skinny washi too so that, and also this one is a thicker one. Um, some of the skinny washi, I can't find the end on this one. Why can't I find the end? There it is. Um, some of the skinny washi. So we had different widths just to add more interest. And this one even has words on it. It says important. Now they didn't even show up barely. I think the T is sticking off in that other one. But there we go. Let me... I have a little bit of room at the bottom so the one I'm going to repeat the washi that I had on the top here on the bottom so I really get coverage okay then I'm going to take my glue and glue the image down right there. Okay. <clears throat> then I will do the lettering at the end, but I'm going to flip it over to do this side. And pretty much all I did, I took another piece of paper just for a straight line, pretty much halfway through. I just did some dotted lines down the middle of the postcard. And then... For the address, I did four lines 
This does not have to be perfect or even. I think it kind of adds to the charm of it if it is not. Okay. And then from the stamp collection, let me move my washi out of the way. From the stamp collection, this is um, Lawn Fawn, You've Got Mail. Okay. I used the postage stamp one on a clear acrylic block, some black ink. And like I said, you could leave this part totally off and you could put a real stamp on it and put it in the mail. You probably could even put a real stamp over it if you decided to mail it afterwards. And then I took the little um, cancellation stamp, the wavy lines. You could probably draw that in if you didn't have this, but I didn't put that there. And then this stamp set came with a sentiment that says, sending love your way. And I thought that was really cute for the sentiment of the postcard right there. Then, of course, you have space to write dear whoever and love your name. And that's all I did for the stamps. Okay, so that side is finished. So back to the front. Let me get a hard surface so I can write better. I have my Zig Calligraphy marker, and I wrote down some sayings that had to do with springtime, so let me look that up here. Okay, goodbye winter, hello spring. That's what we are going to write on here. I am using the smaller tip, and i just doing some fast calligraphy. I'm not amazing at it. You could, you know... Goodbye. Sorry, I can't talk and write at the same time. Goodbye. Now, of course, I could do this a whole lot slower, but it's kind of whimsical this way. Hello. Spring. And there. <clears throat> then I just took one little spritz of Heidi Swap yellow. I think this is yellow. What is this? Butter colored. Color shine. Just a little bit on the edges. And then let it dry. And that's it. Thank you.